let's learn about colors, borders, backgrounds. Yeah, this is the Commodore 65 development system. I'm running it in an emulator. This is the Ximu, the, the, the Mega 65 emulator. And I loaded it with a Commodore 65 core. I have no dev kit. I, I don't know what I'm doing here. Joining the party. So, to start with, the easy one. Um, normally you have uh, your Commodore key and control keys here. Control is control. Commodore key is alt. So you can hold those keys, either one will do different stuff, and press 1, 2, 8, and you'll see the cursor change color. I'll do that slower. And now the other one. So that's all 16 colors, and this works as well on the Commodore 64. We're drinking today a Pinot Grigio. It evaporates fast here. Hard work that I'm doing. I want to show you a little something what you can do with basic 10. In basic 10 we can basically uh, look up the hex codes. The decimal command I guess. But, but, but Jeffrey, why are you showing us this? We don't care about hexamals and, and we, we, we want colors. Well if you, if you look this up on the internet, a lot of the times what you will see is this notation. And this refers to a point in memory which is mapped to the the fig chip, the, the video chip. The fig chip will look for values here and it will do something with it. And if I pass a value, a, a, a byte, to this address, yeah, the, this address is for the border. And the next one is for the background. The problem though, if you want to do it in basic, it doesn't understand this, this address. So to write in memory, we have the command poke. We also have the command peek to check in memory what, what, what is in there. Look, let me just show you a poke and try to poke this for border. And this is kind of the syntax. We make the border white. It produces a syntax error. And that's because we need this value. The, the decimal integer whatever value. Which is the same value, but then in a different notation. So if we retry this. There we go. The border went white. And the same command works in Commodore 64. I'll show you. Commodore 64 mode with the command CO64. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. There we are. I love Commodore 64. Ah. <sighs> Good feelings. So, same command here. 5, 3, 2, 8, 0. White. This uh, second value is the color. It takes a number from uh, 0 which is black, all the way up to 50, which is a greyish thingy. I'll show you 14 is something different. That's the default one. 13, greenish, light green, etc. Um, what happens if you do 16? It flows over back to black. And that's because it only looks at the first bits. Who cares? I'm not doing assembly now anyway. Instead I want to um, start off a little again in this retro machine coding. Change the background in the meantime. So that I can use my Mega 65 to the fullest when it arrives. I'm going to show you the white border and I don't know what 3 is, maybe red. Make a little program here. You can list it. Okay. Ew, it is a... I call it mint. Toothpaste mint. Open the quotes. In the in the Commodore 64 the quotes are above the 2 by the way, shift 2. So if I do my uh, color command now, like I want to change it to white, maybe. And that will be picked up by the Commodore. So this should make the border white and my cursor white. Right, and my cursor white. And also the text that comes after it is ready. But there's also a poke command for that. Uh, override row 30 with a poke. 646. This is basically the same thing. We test it here. 46. Do a different value. See? Green. White. We save 0 on i. And we say we want to loop on the i as an index. 215 for all the colors. Now let's do 255. Let it loop for a bit. 
Hot damn, I'm making a mess of this. Good tutorial. Like this. Next eye. There we have it. But it will stop at 255. But that's, that's fine for this demo. With basic 10. This command, you don't have it in basic 2. But we can use it like I how I detected it earlier. So if you find something on the internet that says it's in hexamal value, then this is also a way to do it. But it is slower. Let me give us black again. Let me put white there. Oh, white. Good job. Cool thing. In the Commodore 65, we can actually do it this way as well. Change the foreground color to black. Change the background color to something, to paste mint, and change the border to, well it is already white, let's try color 4, a nice purple. Ew, -e the wine is gone. Thank you for subscribing, see you in the next one. Oh.